Hello, and welcome to Heartrepreneur TV. I am your host, Velma Gallant. Super excited to be here today with you. And I have a wonderful guest to share with you today. Terry was super excited about the opportunity for me to interview this gentleman. So I am equally excited. And uh, today's topic is creative collaborations. I really like the idea of this conversation. So today's guest is John Donnelly. He's the founder of Your Holistic Academy on a journey of self-healing, curious about life, building a beautiful community of heart-centered entrepreneurs, passionate, family-focused, seeker of truth, connected, connector of good people, loving life, creative collaborator, and sportsman, sports fan, and Tai Chi lover. Wow. So welcome to the call, John. Thank you so much, family. It's so lovely to be here. And what a beautiful introduction. Thank you. So I love the topic that we're talking about, creative collaboration. I love the idea of collaboration, mainly because, um, you know, it, it's that saying, um, all, all ships are lifted with the tide or something like that. I know I'm saying it wrong, but it gives the idea of when I lift you, I lift myself at the same time. And so I love the idea of collaboration. That's the way I would define it. How would you define it? It's funny you say that, Velma, because my, my business partner talks about the rising tide lifts all boats. That's, that's, that's the, the one. one. That's the one. <laughs> And uh, he uses that expression very frequently. And uh, so one of my creative collaborations was that that business partnership uh, mm -hmm. with an amazing, amazing human being and an amazing uh, networker and entrepreneur. And uh, creative for me, creative collaboration is finding those synergies, finding the energy of uh, collaboration and finding the opportunities to connect and work together uh, on a heart level. And I love your tagline, doing business heart to heart. And uh, one of my favorite taglines is stronger together. So stronger together is the uh, tagline for your holistic academy. So the creative, uh, for me, creative, the creative energy, Velma, is uh, I suppose the, the the throat chakra above the heart actually is the, is the probably the primary creative center. So, what do we give voice to? What is our what is our create? What is what do we create in terms of our energy? And uh, collaboration for me is is the key the key to it. Um, we are all connected energetically. We're all connected. Uh, so why not come together? Why not connect on a on a on a creative level and see what what are we going to create what what community are we going to create what lifestyles are we going to create what opportunities are we going to create for our fellow human beings to live the best life possible right right you know as i'm as i'm listening to you and you had you had said that your guys's tagline is stronger together and of course so even though i was born on the prairies i have a uh, a Navy background. I was a sea cadet growing up as a kid. Um, I've traveled thanks to those fun things that I did as a kid. And in that Navy environment, there's always the ropes. And when I hear stronger together, I think of those ropes because it's individual fibers entwined together that create the strength of that rope and so that's what i'm hearing when you talk about stronger together and when you're talking about you know the creative collaboration the synergy the energy the opportunities and and what's possible when we wind up together yeah and what yeah. can we create i love it yeah absolutely Velma. and and i mean this is born out of a sort of a, an understanding of that probably we, we didn't grow up this way. And a lot of our conditioning is not around this. It's around uh, competition and around mm. uh, always competing with people. And, and once you get into that competition mindset, it can be like, well, there's not enough for everybody. Uh, I, I'm, I'm, it's me against you. And uh, for me to win, I got to beat you. And, and that, that's, that, that goes a certain distance. And obviously there's a certain place for that, but on a, on a sort of a spiritual level, it's not really true, is it? It's like, first of all, there is an abundance in the universe for everybody. Mm -hmm. And second of all, it's only when we create 
and and collaborate and work together that we can actually achieve that uh, so i think we've got to look at the uh, some of the systems that we've we've grown up with and think are they really serving us anymore and and mm. the the sort of uh, the competition mindsets that we've grown up with and, and most people grow up with are are you know they're, they're sort of uh, that's that's our condition up, up until now but right now we've got the opportunity uh, and and the opportunity has never been better because like what has happened over the last couple of years like here we're sitting together me and you talking you're you're in mm -hmm. canada i'm in ireland and, and we're sitting having a chat about the opportunity to collaborate mm -hmm. yeah, exactly and i and i love that so um what i'm what again what i'm hearing is that there's definitely the desire when we come from that place of collaboration, the desire for the win, win, win. And I remember when I had my previous coaching business and I had my previous podcast and I'd come across other coaches and, and in particular other lady coaches. And I'd get that sense of competition that would come up and it would rise in me. And I would, I would feel, you know, the fear or the um, intimidation or uh, if they win, I don't and that kind of thing. And I, I, like I've been working with Terry for 20 years and I remember taking a very focused approach of if I'm feeling this, I need to move towards that person. And I would open up the conversation and I'd invite them to be on my podcast because it was like, I need to, if I'm feeling competition with you, I need to collaborate with you because I refused to live in that energy of competition. Yeah. And I think you're right. I think it is conditioned into us. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Well, man. One of my favorite uh, authors is uh, Michael Singer, The Untethered Soul. And he talks about being open and staying open. And mm -hmm. uh, so on a heart level, uh, being open and staying open. And I guess that's, that's a challenge. It, it can be a challenge because uh, it, it should be natural. But with our condition, with our conditioning, it's, it's, it's become a little bit unnatural, maybe. And, and we need to get back to that, to that natural sort of, uh, energy of when we were kids we when we were kids growing up we had that sort of just trust in everything mm -hmm. but then the trust disappears because we're told we can't do this and we can't do that and don't do this and don't do that uh, and and suddenly the trust uh the trust disappears and and we we sort of close close and, and we're closing we're closing our heart to opportunities mm -hmm. we are we are and and i love I mean, for me, I, I love the idea of collaboration because to me, that's, it's, when I'm going up the stairs towards my goals and I'm, you know, bringing somebody with me, there, there are times when we go up those stairs, there are times where I've got the strength to keep going and, and this person doesn't. And then there are going to be times where that person has the strength to keep going and I don't. And if we go up arm in arm, then we are actually the opportunity for us to both succeed is there no matter what. Yeah, yeah. And you don't have to go up the stairs at the same pace. I mean, everybody's uh, climbing some sort of a, you know, some sort of a mountain in their life. Some, you know, what we do, I talk about the concept of climbing the mountain. Uh, everybody's climbing, you know, it's got some sort of challenge in their life. And we have them. We have multiple challenges in our lives right now with mm -hmm. with where society is. Uh, so we don't all have to go at the same pace. Uh, we're, we're going in the same direction, and we're going to eventually arrive at the same destination. That, that's pretty much guaranteed because because we've only got this lifetime to live, mm -hmm. and then well, let's see what happens in the next lifetime. But but for now, right here in this lifetime. We, we've we've got to climb our own mountains and we've got to climb at our own pace. And and sometimes you're going to leave people behind and sometimes you're going to catch up to somebody else and, and join them. So it doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be at the same pace. I mean, we can all climb, do our own climbing, yeah? At our own pace, at our own time. I like that. I really like that because that, 
sometimes that creative collaboration is actually with ourself because how many times, I don't know about you, but how many times I know I have had those points where um, I'm doing the comparison, the comparing, like I call it comparisonitis, a disease of identity. Yeah. And, uh, um, and so I love what you're sharing there about, about the reminder to climb at our own pace, that we don't have to climb as fast as the next person. We get to climb together when we are together. We get to support and love each other when we are together. And then sometimes, you know, that's the way it is with friendships too. Sometimes we just move into another stage of our lives or whatever the case might be. And, and that's okay. Yeah, yeah. I think it's important not to have any judgment about, uh, you know, everyone's on a different path. I, I mean, if we, if we were all on the same path at the same time, there would be no room for any of us. <laughs> so we're all on we're all on our own on our own path, and and uh, we're all on this healing journey. And uh, I mean, my healing journey is different from yours. Uh, my timings are different. Uh, my needs are different, and my uh, desires are different. So mm -hmm. why should we, we don't necessarily have to travel together all the time. We might just, you know, I might, I might meet you today, Velma, and, and we might, we might build some sort of connection and collaboration and end up doing business together, or we may not. And that's okay. It, 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 it's like, if it's designed that, you know, if it's designed that we're supposed to do something together, we can explore that. If it's not, then we can move on and we can, we can have a fleeting moment together and then we can move on. And that that could be any relationship in life could happen that way. Mm -hmm. And that really points to the um, the openness that collaborations come in different forms. It, it can be doing business together. It can be having a conversation together. It can be connecting other people together. Um, it can be just the the exchange of a look, and that's a collaboration too like when we're walking down the street and you you smile at somebody in a lot of ways that's a collaboration of energy yeah in those moments yeah absolutely yeah absolutely yeah so tell me a little bit about your holistic academy what is it so we the intention the intention behind your holistic academy is is to build first of all build a community of holistic professionals around the world and second of all, then let's see what we can create, what we can actually create together as a community in terms of bringing a holistic lifestyle. Uh, and for me, holistic lifestyle is like, let, let's look at every area of our lives. How are we doing physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, energetically? How are we doing on all those levels? And is there is there is there things that we can do that can you know we we can make make a step forward in any of those levels or all of those areas? Uh, so the holistic, uh, the holistic is about for me. It's about the creative energy. It's about the uh, the passion, about the the, the heart centered uh, approach to business. It's about the mm -hmm. entrepreneur journey, and it's about that you know building those collaborations, building that sense of community, uh, with with a holistic um, in a, in a holistic environment. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, I look at everything as energy. So what is what is the energy of that you know that community and what do we create together? Uh, what do we what do we come together to do? And that is open. And that's totally open, Velma. That, like I I've no I've no sort of um, judgments there about what should happen. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying, okay, the possibilities are limitless. Let's see what the community wants to do, and let's see how we can achieve that. And and build 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 different projects around uh, support different projects that are that are going to uh, you know help us all to move forward as a humanity. Um, so so that's really it's 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 pretty much we're in, in the stage of, of of building a community. We're in the stage of of building deeper connections, building uh, re relationships and synergies within that, and mm -hmm. um, and building support a support platform. For all of those beautiful people doing doing what they do, and um, let's see where that takes us. There's no, there's no. It's about not necessarily about the destination either. It's about on that journey. How do we how do we support each other? How do we help each other? How do we move forward on our on our healing journey together? I love that. I love that. I can see 
in in my mind's eye uh like a like a pathway and there's people coming on and people coming off and 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 just but in general it's everybody moving in in one direction arm in yeah. arm kind of thing and it was funny because when you were talking about how you think uh how you believe everything is energy and i i'm in agreement with you what flashed in my mind was do you okay i'm totally dating myself here right now do you remember ghostbusters <laughs> And the, the energy guns that they had and the big, they put them all together. They crossed their streams together. And then that was how they defeated the big bad guy. Um, and that's, so when you were talking about the energy and the collaboration, that was kind of the picture that came to mind was all of our energy streams crossing together and becoming more powerful. Um, so I don't know. That was just what popped in my head when you were talking about that. Yeah, yeah beautiful. Yeah, beautiful. So I'm just, I'm really curious, what inspired you to, um, to move forward with this, your whole, with your holistic academy? What was the inspiration? So the inspiration was uh, four years ago, Velma, I went to a spiritual retreat and my mentor is a, is a spiritual teacher. He's a Tai Chi master and mm -hmm. he uses energy, uh, Tai Chi, Qigong, meditation, yoga, uh, it throws in a little bit of quantum physics and, and and all sorts of beautiful things, and he's a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant teacher and uh, healer, and and dedicated his life to to helping people on their on their own healing journey, uh, mm -hmm. and he just he, he was just a, a master of his of the art of uh, his program is called the Infinite Arts, and it's around uh, busy helping people on their healing journey, the most wonderful, wonderful human being. And I got the chance to spend a week on that retreat and my energy completely transformed in the space of that week. And I realized at that time that my life was just about to change dramatically in terms of what I was supposed to be doing with my life. And I set out to connect with holistic professionals because I saw that that was where my tribe was. That was where that was where my energy was guiding me towards was all of those uh, all of the holistic professionals. And that uh, that my focus was to to build some sort of a project with those people, and and that's sort of how it all developed from there. Then and it was like just the, a, a series of conversations with holistic professionals that got me on this path of building a community around the world and creating. Uh, let's see what we can create with that community. And as I say, it's still very much open as to where we go next, but what we do. But right now we're building that community. Right now we're, we're building very deep connections right around the world. And uh, that's how I met, met Terry on that journey. And uh, I loved, absolutely loved her energy from the very moment I met her. And yes. uh, so now, hence, henceforth, now I'm talking to you, you know, so. Right. And I, I love. I love the I love the evidence of the beauty of collaboration just just within what you shared with your own story and your own journey like you go to a retreat you're collaborating with not only with that um spiritual teacher but you're also collaborating with the other people that are in there our ener the energies are collaborating and that changes you, which changes your life. And we do that to each other. Mm. We, we gift that to each other. Um, yeah. and, and I love creative collaboration is, is, is the gift we give and receive at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. And if, 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 if anybody has studied any quantum physics, it's like, you know, once you, once you, once you study quantum physics, at any level, you realize that wow, the light world is not what we think it is at all. <laughs> it's like, and and you know the model the model that we have of the world is is completely upside down now in terms of you know on the quantum level. It's it's like mm -hmm. it's just so different. So so all the different uh, all the different business models that we have built over the last fifty or hundred years, uh, we have to challenge that now because we we now know something completely different. We do not know that energy works in a completely different way, mm -hmm. uh, you know, through the, the work of the, the scientists in quantum physics. We know that it's different. We know that the, 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 the old models uh, that we're that we, you know, 
I, I, I learned in school about New, Newton's laws and Newton's physics. And now mm -hmm. quantum physics has totally, totally sort of like challenged that. And so we got to we got to look at all of our all of our different uh, business systems and models of of what what business should look like. And we've got to challenge them now. We've got to question it because the world has changed and and we are part of that change. We're part of that evolution. And so we have the opportunity to create every single moment, every single conversation, every single day, we've got the opportunity to create a different uh, model, a different, uh, you know, a different humanity and, and become a different humanity. Mm -hmm. I, it's, I really have enjoyed this part of the conversation. Like I wrote down while you were talking quantum collaborations, because I've had, I had some conversations with my son this weekend this weekend in particular and we were speaking about because um th those who know me know that that I came out of a high conflict divorce and my son my ex-husband and I have created a really great parenting relationship for our son and there's still experiences going on for for my son and we were chatting you know what Maybe your dad didn't take care of me in the physical world, but I can guarantee you that he took care of me in the spirit world. Because when I look back on choices that he made within a relationship, many of those choices were actually there to support me when our relationship broke down. He pushed for an animal. That animal, our dog, cared for me during our transition out of our relationship he pushed for a particular community that we were engaged with that particular community cared for me when we were transitioning out of our relationship so it really inspires me to consider how often we are collaborating on a quantum level even when we don't realize it i love that family. yeah that's beautiful beautiful story yeah and it's so true like it's the awareness i mean the awareness of what is actually real what is actually illusion mm -hmm. and and, and the, what is the what is the you know the significance of those those little moments whereby you don't realize until much much later and you reflect back on your life and think wow oh that's why that happened that's why that dog appeared in my life that's why and so on and so forth and it's only it's only when we when we suddenly we suddenly see see life through a different lens and because mm -hmm. the awareness is, is is changed and i mean that's that's life experience Velma. that you know you, you i don't think you can expect to actually know all that at the time but then when you look back on it and think oh yeah that's that that was why that was that was like that was why i needed that experience or mm -hmm. I needed, you know, so that's why the dog was there in the first place, because of this, because of that. So yeah, that's beautiful. I love that story. Well, and it makes it 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 shifts, it supports me to shift my perspective from um that the entirety of my relationship, it was not all competition. There was actually collaboration going on there, even when I didn't realize it. So um I I kind of like. I liked how it made me feel. I like how it, um, I like how I got to use it to teach my son that things are not always as we think they are. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. Because yeah. it's important to him to, to have a brilliant relationship with his dad. That's important. Even yeah. despite what went on, that's important. And he gets to collaborate with his dad. It's not always going to be the way we think it's going to be. But, sure. yeah. you know, a family yeah. unit is a collaboration, even when it doesn't look like everybody else thinks that family unit needs to be. Sure. Yeah. And like some, obviously for me, the most val most valuable relationships are family mm -hmm. uh, in my life, for sure. The, the, uh, not necessarily everybody's life, but for me, the most valuable relationships are family and, and the deepest learnings are from those relationships as well. And uh, I guess, you know, every relationship, there's, we got to take, we got to take the learning from that. And, uh, you know, casual relationships, casual business relationships, men out of the same 
meaning, but th there's also learning from each of them as well. But the deepest, I think the deepest relationships provide the deepest learnings. Mm -hmm. and, and those are generally family or, or, or very deep business connections it can also provide that, you know. Well, and I know um, with Terry, having worked with Terry for, for nearly 20 years now, I've known her for this this next year it's going to be 20 years that we've we've known each other and been friends and terry terry's clients she calls them client family members like she brings them in that close to her and that's that's that heart to heart kind of aspect of it right yeah. and and yeah. it does validate the the different kinds of collaboration that go on right yeah Sure, absolutely, yeah. I mean, some one of one of my inspirations was uh, a book called Delivering Happiness, and Delivering Happiness was written by a corporate CEO, and and so the message there was, um, happy customers, happy employees is is good business, and so it was like a family. He, he he as a corporate CEO, he was building a family, and and that was the culture. The culture was. Uh, you know, let's build let's build deep relationships here within this family of employees, and we we will provide uh, superior customer service doing that. And mm -hmm. uh, so the book was 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 an inspiration, delivering happiness. So could you imagine every corporate CEO in the world mm. having that as the message? How what Wait. would that do? What would that do in corporate culture? Oh, it'd be it'd be amazing because really, what you're doing is it's it's creative creative collaborations between um, executive and employees, between employees to employees, between employees and, and customers yeah. um, and customers going out, because of course, if they have a good collaboration with you, then they're going to give you the referrals. Like everything yeah. really could be considered a collaboration. Yeah. Yeah. So if each, if each corporation uh, saw themselves as a family, uh, the relationships would change and then, of course, well, obviously, not all family dynamics work either. So, <laughs> <laughs> nope, <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. I, I, well, and that's, but that's also, um, that's also, you know, why I work with divorced women because it really is shifting that perspective mm -hmm. around all of those experiences. And what if we did have the perspective that everything was a collaboration, even if it didn't look like it? yeah absolutely right? yeah so um delivering happiness so that was a book that you that you said was really good there was another oh, michael singer with untethered soul you you had recommended yeah. that yeah. um what are, are there any other we're reaching the end of our time and i don't want to I, I want to respect your time and the respect to the people who have joined us online as well. If you could give them one more message, if there was one more message that you could share with our community, what would that be? Well, the one for me, the big one would be awareness and, and um, around uh, consciously, are we consciously aware of our actions and how our actions are impacting, uh, first of all, our business, second of all, our family, third of all, all of our relationships what is that uh, what is that moment of awareness and that awareness can change in every moment but mm -hmm. are we consciously aware of how we're impacting people around us uh, and i think uh, it's like our conditioning has sort of probably taken us away from that conscious awareness quite often so it's like strip, stripping away the layers of conditioning to get back to that conscious awareness of of who and what we are and what are we here to do and what are we here to achieve in this lifetime i love that i love that because conditioning really that's just a habit of being and what you're saying is drop the habit and just be yeah consciously be yeah absolutely yeah absolutely yeah. i love that thank you so much for your time today john this was a brilliant conversation i know i received value from it and i can see we've got a bit of an activity in the community as well um so yeah. i really appreciate you coming and spending your time with us and sharing your wisdom it's thank been you awesome so much thank you so much and thanks to terry for the invitation as well and uh, it's lovely to be part of this community and looking forward to more collaborations in the future
Absolutely. Brilliant. And so um, I hope to see you in the community more. Thank you to everybody who came and listened and visited with us today. I truly appreciate you. would love to hear what it is you got of value from our show today. And this will end up on YouTube land. So come on over to Heartrepreneurs with Terry Levine. You'll find us on Facebook. We'd love to have you join us and share what your gifts are. Collaborate with us. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you.